we are going to assemble the body tube, uh, which for this we will need a 3x5 note card, the glue stick, uh, three of the rocket motors. If you're doing a 4x6 note card, you'll need four rocket motors. And we'll also need masking tape. Uh, the first thing we'll do, pull off some masking tape. Uh, probably need a little bit more than that. I'm going to rip it into little sections like this and leave them in a spot where I can pull them off easily. I'm going to open my glue stick and get it ready. I'm going to take um, the card, put the motors on it like so, and initially I'm going to roll uh, without putting glue on it the card just so I kind of get a feel for it and to see what I'm doing. Um, it'll help you just uh, get a better idea. And it will also crease the paper so whenever I go to re-roll it, it makes my life easier. Uh, I did this lines down so whenever I roll the tube, it brings the lines up. This will actually make it easier uh, to be sure that we're lining up the tube straight. Since you have a visual cue, you can see the lines. You probably can't see them in the video though. So I'm going to take my pre-creased roll now. I'm going to roll it to where I feel the paper make contact. You can hear it make contact too. Take my glue stick and rub it up in there. You'll probably get glue on your fingers doing this too. And I'm going to very tightly pushing on it, roll it, <clears throat> and take the tape once it's done rolling and put it over at one corner. Then take the glue stick, run it down the outside to be sure there's enough glue there to hold it and run your finger over it. And then I'm going to gently place the tape on it. The tape will hold it while the glue is drying um, to keep it from coming undone accidentally. And we'll take the tape off uh, in a little bit later. This last piece come back off, a little bit of glue, and then put the tape on the end. And then we'll set this over to the side to dry and work on other things. Very frequently throughout the construction of this, we will put it to the side to dry since everything we're using is water-based glue. So now we're going to do the nose cone. Um, I'll put my two token nose cones here each time we see one appear here. There's a take you don't get to see because I screwed up. So if you screw up, it's completely okay because I am obviously screwing up a lot. For this, we're going to need the glue stick, the scissors, and the masking tape. We'll also be using our guide sheet, which we can see one of them is already missing. Uh, we want to measure the circle and be sure that the diameter is approximately three inches. It can be a little bit off. It doesn't have to be exact, but if it's more than like an eighth of an inch off, um, you'll need to find a new way to print it, which I can discuss that in a video later. Um, so we're going to cut out the circle and it doesn't have to be very precisely cut out um, because we will be trimming the nose cone later um, in such a way that a lot of the bottom material will get removed. So if it isn't a nice looking circle, um, it really won't matter. But uh, if you are the real anal type, you'll probably want to cut it out nice. So um, we have a line that divides the middle of it. We're going to cut on that as well. Uh, this will give us two uh, semicircles. And then we'll cut the little notch that's in the center where there was the cross. And that gives us the two parts of our nose cone. Um, we're going to take one of the halves and roll it and form a cone. Um, it's important to do this first initially without glue because we need to take our rocket body and check and see how big it needs to be to actually extend further uh, than the edge of the lip. So the rocket body needs to be able to fit inside the cone. And once you have a rough idea of that, um, you know how you're going to need to roll it in a second. And if you mess it up, you're going to end up with a big pile of these uh, that you aren't going to show anyone either. So we know it needs to be about that round. I'm going to take my glue stick, um, come back over here, put down some glue, and then re-roll it. Hopefully, um, not having to do a fourth take of this. And I can see my rocket will fit inside it, um, which it needs to. Uh, we'll trim it down later. 
And also if it doesn't have a pointy tip or if it's open, that doesn't matter because we're going to correct for that when we put this on. This is the second layer to the nose cone, um, as is the nose cone would be really, really weak and not strong enough and probably would uh, not survive the impact once it falls back to the earth. So I'll put this on here, uh, a little bit shy of the tip. There's like maybe a sixteenth of an inch gap there. And then roll it. Like so. And then I'll have a uh, nose cone. And then put some glue on the outside like we did with the body. I'm going to take a piece of masking tape and gently put it on to hold it down. We'll set this aside while it dries. We're going to come back to our body, which this one's been sitting for much longer than yours probably has, and we're going to gently peel off the tape. Now, I say do this gently because you're, this is paper, so um, you can rip off the outer layer of it very, very easily. So go slow and take your time, otherwise you might end up having to redo your body. Um, see, like that did it right there. Uh, because if you're using like one of these, a fluorescent note card, uh, so you wouldn't have to paint your body, um, you'll be tearing off the actual fluorescent coloring. And <laughs> the motor came out with it as well. You still have two motors inside of here, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take our ballpoint pen, one of them, and gently push uh, it out. If it doesn't gently come out, uh, you can try tapping it, but you don't want to push too hard because you don't want to damage the clay. Um, if ultimately, if you can't get it out, you'll just have to rip it apart and make a new hole. If your hole is a little bit out of round, it actually doesn't matter. Um, very rarely will you get one that's perfectly round doing this just because there's not enough paper to make enough uh, layers that it will be perfectly round. Okay, uh, I just reviewed the last video, and uh, my big fat hands you can't really see around, so I have here a giant blown up uh, nose cone. Uh, let me go ahead and cut this in half. And then make the uh, proper uh, cuts. So what we're doing when we're rolling the nose cone is <clears throat> we start the nose cone, and then we're actually rolling it around the base. The center part of it doesn't really roll, you're actually pivoting around the center. So we're rolling it along like this. And then uh, once you get near the end, you kind of have to hold it with your fingers. And it rolls up kind of like that. So, uh, in case you didn't see at that time, um, let me go ahead and uh, grab my glue. And then we'll throw down some glue on this thing, and then, starting in here, get our uh, first uh, ever here, try and remember, uh, put your finger over here at the center and tuck it down, because you're wanting it to pivot around this point, and we're rolling the outside of it around, try and make it kind of tight, it's hard for me to show you uh, how it's being rolled and keep it tight, but uh, and there we have the nose cone. And for the second part, we're actually doing basically the exact same thing. Let me throw some glue on it. And then I'll set this down here um, onto the edge. You know, here's the black line, just straight up like that. And uh, a little bit down from the middle. And then I'm just going to uh, go ahead and roll it, pivoting uh, on the outside. Well, excuse me, it's pivoting on the center. You're basically rolling it up on the outside. Uh, and, um, well, I kind of messed it up a little bit. It sticks out a little, but I can just kind of um, rip that off uh, if yours does that. And there I go. I have a uh, nose cone.